Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at this um, which I've already reviewed yesterday so if you guys haven't checked it out, you guys can check it out on my playlist on Dragon Momoko so yeah, this series is known as things you should take note of when you are building um, this kit so before I begin the video, I just want to show you guys something else first so to be very honest, um, this is actually how I wanted to end the video as in the post that I want it to post with rather than the other one like holding the scythe which position like that so I just want to show you guys um, just how it looks like when you have the hand holding the scythe on this way so yeah and I guess I'll just leave it here first so as I go through the manual then maybe I can just show you guys like um, which are the parts that you need to take note of so on like that so yeah this is just I wanted to show you guys before I begin my this video so yeah now that it's done now let's continue on to the actual video so yeah, now here is the front page of the manual which you guys um, would have already look, looked at. So yeah, here you guys can see this is how the um, the wings, you can the clock, you can remove it and become like that. Which I kind of show you guys but then here's the difference where the red part you can put it out. So this part here, so the body here, if I'm not mistaken, there isn't much of that problem. Um, yeah, actually, the actually usually the problem, um, usually the problem that I have is always this part here, the cockpit. But surprisingly enough, I don't really have much problem. So yeah, I think the first part you can just um move on. So next year we shall look at the head. The head, of course, like I mentioned, pre I know he's still the body, but like um like I mentioned, the body I have no problem at all. So yeah, now the head here. Like I mentioned previously, um, the head problem that I had was um, was this part over here. This part, the connector, uh, like I say, I cannot close the back of the head. So what you guys maybe want to do, um, I would say maybe you could literally just um, cut off all the packs. And then you just use um, the super glue or the Mr. Tamiya, the cement and just cement it after that. So yeah, I think that's the only solution I can think of for you guys on um, the head at the back. But then um, the rest, I guess I have no problem as well. So next part, let me just zoom out again. Um, the hand over here, the hand as well, I have not much problem, nothing I, I can recall. Um, here, yeah, actually there's really no problem. Like I mean, the usual problem is just the pack, the pack like that. Um, you can see this um, no, actually this part, maybe you just want to shave just a little bit. This long, like this long pack over here, maybe you just want to shave the top part just a little bit. Then, yeah, like, let's say this part, this, oops, let's say this long part over here, and then like, is here, just shave like top, make the pack become um, slant like that. That can easy to just fit into this hole. So, yeah, that's really it. Um, as well as the fist as well, I have no problem literally. I can just put everything into it. Even here the pack usually usually um, this part and this part, the connector over here, you will need to shave just a little bit. But to my surprise, um, I actually don't have this problem at all. I literally don't have to shave anything. And the top part here um, is done, top part of the body. Then we use to the waist, the waist armor I would say. So again, until this point here, I don't have um, that much of a problem, this part over here. Then uh, the problem that I have is actually this part. Oops, there's no more ink. Um, this part over here, I literally have to just use the super glue to just um, have to force it in because the connector at the back here, the connector at the back here literally um, can't fit into it. So what I literally just do is just um, hold the hold the back of the waist unit here. I just push it in, and then just make it uh, wait for the glue to dry, and then let it harden. Or else I do I do not mind my unit. I can't uh, stick at all, so I'm not sure about everyone else having this problem or not. But in my case, I have it, so that's what I did. Then other than that, um, the skirt armor here actually also do have. Uh, problem I mean don't have any problem because each of which um, this hole 
I mean, I would say the armor, this part, this part over here, and this part over here, each of which have their own individual holes, so it's not connected into the waist, like you guys can see here. There is a hole, again, you guys can't see, maybe let me zoom. Like this hole over here, you can just put the pack over here, so it's uh, literally not related to the front skirt over here, so no worries about that. So now I think the waist unit is done. We shall look at the legs. Okay. Um in in terms of the legs, um if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the legs over here I have problem as well. Um the problem being not able to stick again. So what I do as well is I just put the super glue at the side here connecting over here. The super glue just at the bottom over here and glue it. So yeah, that's the problem that I had and of course the one part that I need to show you guys this this part over here right that both of this part you will have this little pack um, coming out so like I mentioned previously you will need to shave it but let me get a different pen so you guys can see so what this pack like that is gonna be like sort of like that so you want to shave it until like just not previously draw until sort of like turn like that so that you will be easily fit in the parts down this part and this part as you guys can see there's a hole here so it, it will be much easier if you guys um, shave it until like that until this shape then it should be um, fine to go but if not then the only way is like that then you just shave it all the way like that Although you might think uh, it might not hold well, but actually it does. So don't worry, don't really worry, you need to worry about that. In terms of this part over here, this A5, this A5 here is a little bit tricky. So you guys can see the pack here as well. So what you want to do again, shave it a little bit as um, what I did because uh, I tried to uh, fit it in, but it doesn't fit. So you have to shave it. And this part over here is a little bit tricky because um, if I'm not mistaken, it might go a little bit in, so you want to, you know, just adjust and have a look for yourself. And so the f legs here, I have no problem. Legs here, I have no problem, no problem, no problem. This part, um, this part, no problem as well. So we can move on. And then the next part here, uh, yeah, I draw this part. So yeah, you guys can see here, I wrote. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is this part? This is a gray piece. So at the back here, there is a long pack, but it's actually a little bit too long to to put into the other side. You should have two parts, yeah. You can see D D seven this D sixteen. So the D seventeen part is actually uh the the usually what I call is the hole the hole over here. So this part is a little bit too long, so you will need to shave just a little bit for it to have the correct length to connect into this hole. So yeah, that's really it I want to say. And then I guess here, if I'm not mistaken, this part is um a little bit too... Oh no, wait, this part, this part, if I'm not mistaken, it should be put inside of this thing over here. So yeah, I mean, when you guys build it, you guys um, should know. So this is just like a precaution. Oh, okay, and this part as well, the anchor armor over here. This part, um, again, you have to shave just a little bit. And I would recommend you guys to glue as well because it's a little bit loose. So yeah, just glue a little bit but not too much on these two ends. Then yeah, you should be good to go. And then I think the rest is just like that. Oh, and one thing, uh, this they are using this uh, common join which I usually don't really like. So what I did right away was I put this um, this PC thing, the PC part into it. Then when I put this part connecting um, inside here, I straight away put a glue already. So it will harden it. So no matter what, where, how I move it, um, it have some sort of security and it won't fall off that easily. I'm not sure if you agree with me on this method, but that's why I did. And I think it did a pretty good job. So yeah. And also, almost I forget is um, this part over here. The oops, I think I draw a little bit too much so you guys can see. It's actually like that, and then soft like that. 
you guys can see over here this is how this part is supposed to connect on with this anchor armor so uh, you guys will need to shave a little bit on the round part over here just like I say shave this side shave this side just make it um, easier for you to put inside here because this stick is a little bit smaller and this one is very much um, bigger so just shave a little bit but not too much or else it will be too loose so yeah that's basically it for this part and then here is very easy um, this part the side skirt I would recommend you guys as well to just glue it the side skirt part um, if I'm not mistaken is at the yeah this one this part over here you just glue these three parts all together I would say just glue the A to F1 then uh, it's right, all right already so yeah that's really it the um, body unit all is done then like I say here the um, backpack over here this backpack here you just glue this part because it's very loose so yeah like I say just like this part here I think you just glue inside here the gap over here then after that you put the backpack inside because um, you won't be moving much even when you are trying to transform the clock so don't worry about that just glue it in for easier for you and um, the weapons I have no problem at all as well just simple build and this part over here uh, the shield actually um, for me at the beginning it's quite confusing um, there is one like there's one part over here that they, they did not tell you how to put like the shield at the time the main part the main body of the shield is just like like that sort of like that but then you have um, holes at the back so this part this um, two things sticking out is actually same as this this part over here but it's a different part with the part over here so what you need to do is just there is a if I'm not mistaken it's a F black part as well then you just need to put put it in so just stick at the back then after that you just put on all this gray piece independent then this part is the black part they are talking about in order for you to put this thing into it then yeah that's really it then after that here is another independent piece so don't worry about that so after that towards the bottom here um, what you want to do this E18 you fix it first because the G18 it will be put on top you guys can see at the, at the gap here right so it's actually this part so um, E18 you just fix it in first then after that this part you just put on top of it then everything will be fall in place don't don't like um boom this part you scared that put here first don't worry it's e18 put onto it first then only your g18 put on top of it then slowly everything will fall in place so yeah basically the weapon is just like that then um in terms of the clock okay the clock as well i have the most problem actually firstly it involves a lot a lot of steps because it's repetitive and there's one that's connect the problem actually um, this whole part this whole part here the beginning of this part this is the main part for you to connect the clock onto the mobile suit so yeah this one you need to take more attention like if you haven't watched my review I would recommend you guys to watch so you guys can um, better understand it Ho yeah, it's actually these two part over here these two part which will connect the clock eventually this um, this part over here you will be put on the like fix on the mobile suit and then this is the black part which will hold on to the both clock over here so this um, I would recommend you guys to shave just a little bit so that it will hold in place or even if you want just straight away use the super glue to glue it and yeah that's really it the rest over here I have no problem ah, okay yeah this part over here uh, let me zoom I mean focus this part over here you can see this A3 and A1 and A1 together oops this here this part when you put into it then when this E20 put on top of it put on top of it here um, the top part here you can't close the gap um, same as mine although it doesn't close the although it doesn't close the gap but it still holds fairly good so you again don't have to worry about that unless I have one part of it that it was um, too too loose and this um, A3 keep on popping out so that's that one part I 
had to use the super glue to just um, stick it on so yeah the rest um the other three parts of the wings i don't really have much problem so yeah i guess that's i guess that's really it oh uh one more thing i want to talk about this part here this part if i'm not mistaken this is the part that will connect the wings the clock i, I should say better um this part shave it as well because if you do not shave it it's actually quite um difficult for you to put the clock in because when I put it in, it's just keep on the clock, the the A part just keep on coming out. So yeah, just I recommend you guys just to shave that part. And then yeah, the rest here I don't really have much problem already. So yeah, I think that's really it. So okay, when I was talking about the okay, you know what? Um I guess the the things you should take note of is until this part. Let me bring the mobile suit and I'll show you guys the part that um, I recommend you guys to glue it right away. So the part I was talking about is actually this part over here. You should take note of here because this small black part is connecting to this whole front part over here. So this part I recommend you guys to just glue right away. As well as you guys can see this part I've really shaved it just a little bit so I can put the clock all together. So let me just put in front view for better view for you guys. But you guys can see. I'm not sure you guys can see or not, but this part you guys can see the gap already open a little bit when you move too much. So for me, I can just close it and it will sort of close the gap a little bit and still hold it in. So like I say, you guys, one, you guys, I would recommend you guys to just straight glue the black part over here. So yeah, again from a different angle, it will be this part here to just glue it. So yeah, that's really it. So again, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Another series of things you should take note of when you are building this kit. And because Dragon Ball Core already stopped production, so even if you are planning, even if you break something and you plan to get it, it will be um, fairly difficult already because um, as you guys know, Dragon Ball Core already stopped production. So yeah, I just hope you guys um, don't will not have the issue that I faced and I hope you guys will enjoy building um, these kits because like I said, not everyone have the privilege to buy um, Bandai kits. So yeah, I so I guess that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys have um, find this video informative. And if you guys have, please do not forget to drop a like down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe to me because there will be more videos like this. Um, Gunpla reviews, things you should take note of and when you're building uh, certain kits. And even um, some figure reviews which are coming out very soon so yeah i think that's really it so again thanks a lot for watching and if you guys still have any comments please drop it down below i will reply it as soon as i can but i would say that maybe uh, a week later like that because i've been quite busy with other things as well so yeah but nonetheless still drop your comment if you have any question i will reply to them as soon as i can so yeah again <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you guys have a very good day